Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Julie. I'm glad that you're here with me today. And I know why you're here. You want to learn something about English, and that's great. For our class today, we're going to talk about implicit and explicit signals. Hmm. Do you have any idea about those? Uh. Well, if you don't, then this is the time for you to listen to our class and be active in doing the activities. Are you ready? That's great. Oops. Before we do those things, let's continue to our objectives. First, we will differentiate implicit from explicit. Wow. Second, we're going to identify the explicit and implicit signals in the samples that we're going to have later. Wow. Wow, that's so exciting. Let's do it now. Come on. For our next activity, we're going to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's see if you're going to be a millionaire today. But before that, you need to know how we're going to play it. For the mechanics of this game, you are just going to choose the correct meaning of the underlying word in each item. I know that's going to be very easy for you. And for each correct answer, there's a corresponding money in pesos. Are you ready? Hmm, I think you are. Let's see if you're going to be a millionaire today. So, let's play the game! That is awesome. How much money did you get today? Did you become a millionaire? From the activity that we had a while ago, we're gonna get those words to answer some questions. Are you ready? For our first question, which of these two groups of lyrics did you find much easier and more difficult to understand and know the meaning? Yes, you're right. This group is much easier to know the meaning, while this one is more difficult to understand. Second question. Which of them obviously and indirectly state what the singer feels? Yes, you're right again. This column obviously states what the singer feels, while the second group indirectly states what the singer feels. Good job! Third question. How did you figure out the meaning of the lyrics? If you think that it's because of the clues, words, or signals that are used in the sentence or lyrics, then you're right! Awesome! Since we're done with those activities, it's time for us to know what implicit and explicit messages or signals are. Implicit and explicit messages are techniques used in various forms of media to influence and inform the audience. We see them on a daily basis in the media that we watch, listen to, and read. But we have to note that different people can find different meanings in the text. Someone who grew up in a different part of the world with a different culture may find a different meaning of the text. Someone who lives on the very same street as you might still find a different meaning of the text. Explicit and implicit. Explicit messages are obvious, clear, specific, detailed, and written. While implicit messages are hidden, understood but not stated, and give the reader clues. Explicit signals. The information will be written in the text. There is no need to look for clues. Just read. If the information is written, it is explicit. Implicit signals. They use visuals, settings, body language, symbols, etc. to communicate meaning rather than just saying what they mean. I hope that I'm going to see you in our class again. I'm Teacher Julie, and have a good day. <laughs>